What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here, and I wish I could say this was a clickbait title and thumbnail, but it is simply not. There is a set that is coming live in June when the Arcanus drops that is going to absolutely break PvP as we know it. And uh, quite frankly, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because we are going to abuse the living out of this set. Let's talk about it. Yeah, welcome back guys. Welcome, welcome. Um, before we hop into the bread and butter of today's video, please hit the like and sub button because we are going to be experimenting a lot on the PTS with all the exploits, new builds for the Arcanus, and I'm also going to be releasing a uh, video on the Arcanus, kind of showing you guys the ins and outs of the class and what I think the role of the Arcanus is going to be in the upcoming meta. So if you want to be notified for that, you guys know what to do. The set I'm talking about is Transformative Hope. This is a set you get from Trials. Yes, guys. Us PvP sweats are going to have to go do trials in order to get this set. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. So let me remind you all that there was an Oaken Soul Dragonite meta about a year ago. If you were a Dragonite main, that was the best time of your life. If you played any other class besides Dragonite, it was an absolute shit show. And if you need some context on how broken it was, well, uh, here, watch this. So what made the Oaken Soul one bar Dragonite the most powerful class in the Elder Scrolls Online and arguably the easiest class to play like like ever? It was the most simplest build ever. Well, Oaken Soul back in the day used to give you major heroism. Major heroism on the Dragonite. You cannot give major heroism to the Dragonite freely. You cannot. It will completely break the game. Like, it, it, it's been proven. The Oaken Soul meta was a fine example of that. The Dragonite is one of the only, probably the only class that can sustain just by ultimate regeneration due to the Battle Roar passive. TLDR, the more ultimate regeneration you have, the better your resource management is, the less you have to dedicate to your resource management, which means you can pump more points into your damage. So, if the Dragonite has access to major and minor heroism, which you will pretty much 100% of the time, you have a set called Potentates, which is going to reduce your ultimate cost. You're going to have a set like Bloodspawn, which is also going to give you additional ultimate regeneration. You kind of see where I'm going with this. What is going to happen is that the Dragonite will be able to permanently stay in his corrosive armor. Now, what makes this a lot worse than the Ogun Soul meta is that now you can run a front bar and back bar setup because before you was limited on the Dragonite to only having running one bar on the Oaken Soul build because that was the only way to get major heroism. Not anymore. This is very, very scary territory. And of course, we're going to abuse it. Don't forget to like and sub, hit the bell notification icon because we are going to just break ESO. I told you guys uh, like a month ago, I'm going to have fun and this is going to be one of the sets that we're using. So let's go ahead and go over the set fully. So two piece is increased healing done. Who cares? Minor ages at all times. No one cares. Magic recovery is a four piece. Okay. So the five piece wand combat when you heal yourself or an ally that is below 40% health, you ignite the spark of hope with them for three seconds. If they're above 90% when that spark quote unquote ends, you and the ally gained major heroism for 15 seconds. So, how are you going to guarantee that you proc this set? Now, the only thing you have to do is just simply pop Corrosive and pop a Coag. You will be above 90% more than likely, and then you'll have major heroism the entire time. Corrosive, guys, lasts 12 seconds. You're gonna have major heroism the entire time, okay? 
It is possible to have back to back to back to back to back corrosives. Assuming you kill like one vampire, okay? I'm going to test this fully on the PTS, just kind of give you guys a proof of concept. But you can indefinitely have corrosive up. It has been proven time and time again. It's not hard to do, and we're definitely going to do it. Um, this is scary. You know, for example, when you combine sets like Mechanical Acuity, which is going to give you 100% crit chance during your corrosive. If you guys haven't seen my crit DK build, it should be somewhere up on your screen. Go check it out. We are going to essentially just remove Mars Bomb and replace it with Transformative Hope. And it's going to be absolutely devastating. Uh, we may toss in potentates there to kind of get the uh, the uptime on corrosive um, up, up as much as we can. But um, I just wanted to bring this set to you guys' attention um, that it, it this does exist. And if it goes live, this is going to be once again a Dragonite meta. And as much as I like playing the Dragonite, I do not see this being good for the game. Um, it makes it way too easy. And uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have fun with it. We're going to have fun with it on the channel. And also, we are working on the Arcanus build. If you guys want to check that out, I will be streaming um, uh, just, just randomly throughout the week. I'm not sure what my stream schedule is going to be because I have a lot of adulting things going on. Um, but we are trying some things out on the PTS, you know, just kind of, you know, cookie cutter things with the, the Arcanus. And I'm going to go on a little bit of a, a tangent with the Arcanus. Um... Uh, this will be a, a build for, um, or excuse me, this will be a video for another time. The Arcanus is very lackluster. Um, if you made it to this point of the video, yo, thank you so much. Um, I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent in the Arcanus before I actually release the video. The Arcanus just does not have burst damage. Um, it does have a pretty nutty heal, which I'm hoping will be nerfed. Is this bad boy right here that you channel? And the longer you channel, the more it heals. You're getting like like, like 10k non crits at the end of it, and you can make it cost like zero. And it, it's it's uh it's kind of nutty. Um, you have the best CC in the game. So this CC is fossilized but on steroids. Um, it's going to slow. It's going to do a bunch of stuff, and it has a one second delay, meaning you can time your burst around this. So you're not wasting global cooldown having to cast fossilize, wait for one entire global cooldown before you can do your next ability. You can just slap this on and have this timed ex exactly perfectly with you know with whatever burst you got going on. Um, but what this class does lack, um, it does not have a burst steal, um, which is kind of important. It's I feel like this class is going to be kind of in the same situation as the stamina circus is and like high risk high reward but the thing is you you, you don't have any burst there there are no skills in this kit that is going to give you a lot of burst damage um all, all the effects are really cool i mean like 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 what the fuck? like 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 super cool like i'm gonna play the class um, probably not as my main, but just the aesthetics of the class and kind of uh, the combos you can do, you know, with with your crux points. <laughs> That's me. And um, it is re really, really fun. You know, your spammable is going to generate crux and you go in for your, your big dig combo, which is boom, boom, you know, Kamiyamiya, uh, the asses, you know what I mean? Um, the thing about this ultimate is that you can just literally roll dodge and just kind of, you know, like uh, race against time to, to get out of the AoE. So you definitely need some slows. Um, the, the, there's a lot of playtesting we're going to have to go over to see what sets work best on the Arcanist. Uh, but but yeah, that's 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 a video for another time. Sorry for rambling in this one, trying to hit the eight minutes. If you guys haven't, uh, if you haven't caught on, you know what I mean? Get those, uh, get those mid rolls, you know what I mean? Uh, a little bit of money. Uh, but listen, um... For everyone who has just joined my Patreon and uh, my YouTube memberships, yo, thank you so much. I will follow up on those coaching sessions uh, momentarily, you know, sometimes throughout the week. I know I had a lot of people hit me up in Discord, and apologies for not being around. I've been away on some personal matters, um, dealing with the family, you know, and stuff like that. Um, it's not really a vacation. Uh, I, I had to do it. I'm sorry I've been gone this long. But uh, before I peace out, guys, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my com community members. You guys are absolutely amazing. I, I could not be doing this without you. So I just want to bring this into you guys' attentions and uh, we will be theory crafting um, with it um, pretty extensively. And I'm rounding at this point. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'll see you on stream. Uh, I'm out. Peace.